Hey guys, how are you doing? Hey, how are hey. you? Doing? So good, how are you? <laughs> I'm doing well, thank you, thank you. Uh, well, just thank you so much for coming on this call today. I just had a few people that were asking uh, about continuing with music, uh, seniors especially as they're looking towards college and I just hoped that this would be something helpful for them to be able to know reasons why they should continue with marching band. So you ready to go ahead and answer some questions that they have? Of course. Yeah, let's do it. All right. uh, Kirsten, uh, if you had to tell someone why they should do band, specifically marching band in college, uh, what would be some of the things you'd uh, want to highlight for them? Absolutely. Um, I think the biggest thing about marching band in college and why you should do it is the sense of community and family. Um, I came into college not knowing anyone at all. And being in the band gave me a family and a friend group to immediately be immersed in. And I'm still meeting new people, still having new experiences. And I wouldn't have gotten to do that if I wasn't in band. So I think being able to push yourself and get out there and meet new people is one of the best reasons. For sure, for sure, totally agree. Uh, Caitlin, do you have any favorite memories? Uh, and Kirsten, oh, you can tag one after if you want. Yeah, I've got so many. Um, I think my favorite one that's like always stuck with me was the first time running out of the tunnel. Um, Cause my first game was, it was a night game against someone. And uh, I'd never been in, an, I'd never gone to a Gator game before. Like this was going to be my first time ever. Um, and we were outside in the loading dock and we just went from this tiny tunnel of nothingness and just dark to just a stadium full of people. And it was our first game with coach Mullen. So the stadium was electric. It was, it was loud. It was noisy and I I sobbed through our first pregame like I never even I don't think I played a single note in the first half of the pregame because I was just so excited and just like so couldn't believe I was part of something so special in oh, you yeah. um it was such a rush and then also just um going to Turlington after the games going to Turlington Plaza it's one of our little traditions um and watching our drumline do the show that was always a really good way to round out especially if we'd won so it was always fun oh, to yeah. Yeah. after for sure. What about you, Kirsten? I think my favorite memory is probably the same. Um, that first that first game, um, I had been to one Gator game. I've always been a Gator fan. So you always hear that looking up and down the stadium and seeing 90,000, but you never believe it until you see it. You stand there and I got all the way through pregame without sobbing. I tried really hard, but I did get through pregame, but I got to the end and we're standing on the field looking around you and then that video plays and it says, look up and down. And I did. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is not just me anymore. Yeah. So it was that moment of realizing that this is the biggest thing I've ever been a part of. Um, it was really awe-inspiring. Yeah. I, I think pregame is probably one of the most memorable memories for me too. And like specifically, uh, and I guess kind of ironically, when we do it together with FSU, even though we're, we're rivals, uh, us and fans the FSU rivals. fans, we're <laughs> uh, like, it's, it's great to come together and to just make music together on the field. Like, it was incredible. I was in the front line when I, I was marching uh, my freshman year. So, and we were in Ben Hill Griffin. So they were coming at us. And I was just like, this is, this is awesome. So <laughs> Uh, I really think pregame is, it's just, I mean, it's the best way to start everything off in the first place. So, and uh, everyone, the whole crowd joins in, which I know you all have experienced too. So, uh, but speaking of that, that was, that was something we didn't get to do this year, unfortunately. Uh, and that, that was something we certainly had to adapt to, but we still had to play all, all the songs. And I was happy that we got to, kind of keep up traditions, teach freshmen as much as we could. Uh, but I think uh, even with the changes that we had this year, well, number one, I'm proud that we were able to keep everyone safe and keep everyone healthy. Uh, I know we had different interruptions with attendance because of like, you know, just people are still out living their lives, but uh, uh, the band I think handled it super well. And even looking forward to this season, I'm confident that we'll continue. Uh, putting everyone's safety and well-being um, like on the forefront um, and just caring for people like we usually do. So uh, 
Caitlin, what do you have to say about what you expect in the year ahead and just kind of overall vision and such? For yeah. next year? I'm just looking back. I'm, I'm looking forward to getting together with the family again. Um, I really, I think what I'm looking forward to the most is getting to be um, just back with everyone. You know, it was hard this year having to kind of keep our distance and not really um, see each other as much, but I'm, I'm looking forward to our walks down stadium road, uh, to get back into the stadium. Um, and of course get back on the field eventually and just bringing new music to the swamp. One of the things that I thought we did really well this year was adding in all that new music. Um, cause we got so much music rehearsal time. So to be able to kind of field some new shows and kind of approach things a little bit differently, I'm, I'm just excited for whatever we get to do. For sure. For sure. And Kirsten, uh, what, what do you think has remained constant even with all that's been going on this past year? Um, constant has been just the, the sense of trying to build the community. Um, we have such a great leadership team that works so hard um, to include people and we thought it would be really difficult to really bring the freshmen in. Um, but I think the team building and section bonding has remained constant and maybe even more so. Um, having to work harder to build via Zoom, um, having to work harder to get to know people outside of your section, but people are putting in the effort. Um, so being able to build that community has stayed a constant. Um, we were lucky enough to be able to rehearse in person, all of us at the same time. We may not, might not have been able to interact with everybody, but uh, some bands didn't get that. Um, so that did stay constant this year, the, the ability to play together, um, which was unmeasurable. Um, we were able to play together. We were able to go to some games, which is great. Um, everyone got a chance to experience a football game, um, which is the best thing in the world, uh, the best feeling. So luckily being able to give um, not all of the experiences to the freshmen, but some of the experiences that are, are lifelong memories um, was able to remain constant. Yeah, I totally agree. And I think uh, regardless if, uh, if anyone, if they're going to Florida or just whatever school they go to, wherever they really feel like they connect with the culture there. Uh, one of the things that I feel like I always hear is like their, their programs care about them and their directors care about them. And I think that you'll see that uh, as, as you continue uh, for those, those that are watching this that hopefully um, are really encouraged and go ahead and stick with going and doing uh, college marching bands um, as you're looking into your college options and continuing with music. So anyways, uh, well, thank you again, both of you. Uh, it's been good to just kind of sit and reminisce about <laughs> the last few years. And uh, yeah, I'm just excited, excited to see what the next year holds. And uh, I hope, hope this is helpful for anyone that's watching this.